I'm Jason. I'm Todd. This is our little child, Ziggy. Say hello, Ziggy. Hi, Ziggy. And we're the Vamping Guys. Everybody, I'm Jason with the Glamping Guys. This is my little sweetie pie, Ziggy, and we want to welcome you to Jason's Cocktail Hour. Actually, it's going to be more like 10 minutes, but I'm going to show you how to make an amazing drink that we got the recipe a couple of years ago uh, from when we went to the Olive Garden, and it was a strawberry limoncello martini. So we thought it would be a good idea to turn it into a frozen version. I'm going to show you the ingredients and we're going to whip this up in the blender and see how it goes. So I'm going to put Ziggy down and we're going to get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is fill up the blender with some ice. That's obviously the most important thing you need. You need a blender. Right, and I've got some ice right here. Just going to kind of put it over here in the sink. So from my experience making frozen drinks, I found that I like them really, really nice and kind of that creamy smooth, um, like a, almost like a frosty or a, a smoothie consistency. So uh, I never packed it completely full of ice. I want definitely some room for a lot of the liquid. So the next thing we're gonna do is add the alcohol and I'm gonna kind of show you the ingredients. And I need to get my measuring cup real quick. Oh, and this is another thing. For all of you RV people out there or people who are just uh, thinking about getting an RV, once you get to your campsite, things bounce around. You're literally putting your RV, motorhome, whatever uh, camper of choice that you're using, you're putting it through an earthquake when you're driving it down the road. So when you open your cabinets, open them very, very slowly because things could like bounce around and fall out. So. I'm getting my trusty measuring cup. So the first ingredient is citrus vodka. Uh, feel free to use whatever your favorite brand is. We usually just get what's on sale. So what I'm gonna do is add one cup of citrus vodka. It's almost kind of like you're doing shots, you know, and making one drink, but we then, I don't know, triple, quadruple up the uh, mix ratio. So I find when I'm making a frozen drink in this blender, if I'm doing like a few different alcohols, uh, I'll usually do uh, the main uh, base alcohol flavor, in this case, the, uh, the citrus vodka. That's what I do more of when I pour into the measuring cup. Just pour it right in. So then the next ingredient is you wanna add that really good tartness limoncello and we love limoncello we'll actually just keep this in the freezer and once in a while if we're in the mood we'll do it just a couple of shots and oh my god limoncello is so so yummy so I'm gonna do a half a cup of limoncello I feel like I'm on a cooking show, like I'm a Julia Child, or I don't know, Rachel Ray, or something like that. And don't they always just add a little extra dash just for a extra taste? Todd's behind the camera, by the way, if you wanna say hi, Todd. Hi, everybody. Hi there, uh, YouTube land. So, uh, Jason, and, tell them why cocktail is your favorite word. Um, I'm sure, being a gay man, that people can definitely figure out why I like the word cocktail. I just wanted so. to hear you say it in your special way again. <laughs> All right, go on. So uh, uh, you, you guys be the judge of that. Uh, we definitely want to keep our channel a very hard G rating. That's my goal. So anyway, a half a cup of limoncello. All righty. And then 
you know, if you want to do it the really good way, which, you know, we, some things, you know, just prefer to take the easier road. So we just get a really good high quality strawberry daiquiri mix. Um, you can add fresh strawberries. You can also add frozen strawberries and things like that. But uh, we just make it easy and just get the pre-mixed strawberry. And just gonna shake it up a, whoop, just a little bit. It's kind of leaking a little bit got on me. And then basically just top it off with the rest. And then usually right about there again, I don't even like to overfill it because once you start turning on that blender, um, it can like overflow uh, over the edges and then you've got a big hot mess. Here we go. And then I'll just turn it off for uh, maybe five or ten seconds, something like that, because uh, the uh, larger pieces of ice usually kind of are hanging out up top. So if you just give it a second, the heavier ice will settle down to the bottom. And then I just give it another uh, quick little push of the button. Ziggy doesn't like that loud noise, does he? Mm -hmm. He just wants to go outside. And then we broke out the fancy acrylic ware. Uh, that's another thing that we uh, learned is that you can bring nice, you know, dishware, but you want it to be like a nice kind of plastic or higher end kind of like acrylic to where it looks like glass uh, because uh, it's just an accident waiting to happen. Whether it happens the first or the second time, you know, something is definitely bound to break. Okay, and then we're just gonna pour it in here. got our fancy straws and we like to get the bigger oversized straws because you get more. Oh my god this is amazing. It tastes just like the strawberry limoncello martini. This is definitely a keeper. So a cup of citrus vodka, a half a cup of limoncello, strawberry flavor, freshness, frozenness, however you want to do your strawberries of choice. Oh, come to think of it, maybe some other fresh berries would be good to kind of mix in with it. All kinds of great uh, options. But this is, it's got a nice little sweet kind of lemony kind of tartness to it. So with that said, I think we're all done with the video and I think I'm going to go and enjoy my drink. So until next time, you guys have a fabulous day and stay tuned. Bye. Leave a comment to say hi. If you like us, please subscribe. And if you don't, our little fluffy dog will attack you.